Okay, I just got this puppy, or picked this puppy up. <laughs> Let me twist it towards you so you can see better what's going on. And this is a Wi-Fi 6 extendable router through AI mesh, which means I can put now my older Asus that no longer receives updates, even on Merlin, unfortunately, even though it's a really good router. Yeah, time to move on, right? So I'll use this as part of the AI mesh or extender. That's what that really means. You know, AI is being overused these days, but this, uh, this is what I got. Two gigahertz, four core, quad core, CPU, ultra fast network speed, AI protection, which they've had. This one actually has that AI protection too. To be fair to Asus, they use that wording AI protection and AI mesh before this AI was a big mainstream deal. So I give them credit. Usually I'm not somebody who says, well, I like because it has AI. Usually I stay away from that, but these guys have been using it for a while and I'm so used with Asus routers and just, you know, you, you get to some point that you kind of trust them is there's no way I'm using the default ISP router. So this is the AX5700 style dual band and the model is RT-AX86U Pro performance Wi-Fi 6 gaming router. Now that is something I really could care less because I know it's a gimmick. Gaming router is simply the same as manually going on this device here and prioritize streaming or prioritize a certain device that you're playing on, whether it's a PC or PS5 or whatever. Yeah, that dumb dumb fall for the gaming wording. But I like that this router is actually supposed to be good if I can open it without breaking the box too much. So let's see what's inside. Now I'm not going to read too much into the wording because not all the words mean what they say and say what they mean. So let's skip those things. And yes, I am somebody who's coming from Netgear. And when I say I'm coming from Netgear, I mean <laughs> a million years ago. I was into Netgear and I no longer am because they're pushing some weird stuff with the app and almost forcing it and... I'm just not, uh, I, I don't like that. That's why I like Asus because I can install my own VPN inside through OVPN files and that's it. Versus uh, Netgear, they, they, they made a big mistake. They're not allowing a few features that Asus and other routers have. Anyway, we have the three antennas. It has an internal antenna as well. It's inside, I think it's around this side here. Eh, kind of an added. And these antennas look similar to the older ones. Actually, I like the older ones. The design is really cool. But anyway, I like these two. Uh, we have a power cable connector. Let me take it out of here. Yep. Then we have the power brick. I don't know why they decided to make it in two pieces, but hey, I trust what they think is their engineers and I'm not. At least in this router and uh, let's see it's just like the laptop if you remember eight, most of hp laptops used to come with this one so i have actually some longer cords if i need it even though i don't need it but hey here is the asus itself and here's paperwork that we are totally going to read one million percent just not today and here we have a normal ethernet cable just in case and let me take the boxes out really quick so we see what we're uh, working on. Now let's see, what do we have? Some rubber feet here, screws where you can take it apart or put right here. And if you're taking it apart, there's a, uh, let me cover some stuff here. There's one screw right under here, under this label, and another screw right here. They're hidden, one right here at the corner and one is under here. So if you're taking one of these apart, <laughs> make sure, make sure you check both these. And then we have a USB 3.0, USB 2.0 ports. These are for data stuff, almost to use it like a cloud and all that stuff. I'm not gonna use any of that. Reset button, power on and off. DC input, is this a 19 volt like the other routers? Yes, it is a 19 volt just like my other router. And this is a 2.5 gigabyte port. If you have it, I don't have it, so eh, nah, don't worry about it. 
this is where your uh, internet comes in or ethernet cable that comes from either your default gateway if you have from your isp or what's so called from the wall it comes to this port here you have four lan ports and besides that there's not much more to talk about and the front has the lights you plug it to power and before you start setting it up let me cover this stuff again hold the reset button and make sure it's fully reset then you plug your uh, computer to the first port here start setting up things and choose how you want to set it up as a router access point or ai mesh and in this case i'm gonna use it as a router or my default gateway and that's it but just don't forget that small thing you know it, it it's good for the bees they say we have the wps or the easy setup here and we have only the leds on and off on this side so there are two buttons i guess this is for the leds on and off and this is for the easy setup so you kind of make it without any restrictions to connect a quick device you know my base speeds without vpn are 300 megabyte per second my base speed 300 up 300 down so if it goes near that we are good if it goes way below that without uh, vpn there's something wrong <laughs> so let's go see that and let's see uh what happens i trust asus will do the right thing okay so all i connected here it's on reset right now but like i told you and here if i can cover everything here right here on the back all i connected is the isp or the internet cable right here on the blue port my pc right here on the first lan port power absolutely nothing else so i don't want to confuse myself and then when all the lights start turning on you wait for them to all turn on when they get stable then all i did i hit the reset button i held it and when you hold it you'll see the power light start blinking when the power light start blinking then goes off let go of the reset button which is around six to ten seconds you don't need more than that and wait for it to come back here right now it's telling you that it was reset and you are ready to connect to the ip that's on the back of it and that's all we should be good to go to from our computer like i told you i love to do okay welcome to rtax 86u pro and i did not plug in anything now we're just gonna choose operation mode here and we're gonna make make this as a wireless router mode which is the default and i don't have 4g and 5g which you can set it for that too i'm gonna put it at one gig one automatic ip or you can change your ip i'm gonna leave the ip automatic we don't have any ppoe from the isp which is pretty good static ip nope how to set this device as ai mesh nope and automatic ip and we're gonna put network names here assign unique ssid for the wireless because this is the initial setup so i'm just gonna put whatever comes to mind and uh, we'll be right back separate 2.4 and 5 first i forgot i almost forgot that because i have some cameras that will be connected here and they only work on 2.4 yay i love it so let me enter a few things and we'll come right back and i usually like to give them different passwords here and uh we're gonna go ahead and apply and here we have router lo login name this is for the administration only so this is how you will enter the router itself for the settings name is going to be just asus pro and i'm going to enter the passwords really quick boom strong tough girthy okay i'm going to hit next and we have to reconnect now to the wi-fi and after i set up a few things well first thing i updated the signature and now as you see i'm updating the firmware because of course there are updates this was just out of the box and i connected the ai protection just to make sure everything is correct and uh, we'll continue with the rest of the setup there's not much that i'm gonna do here but we'll see and after the that was an upgrade actually and let's see what else we have signature is updated current version latest version 102 three four three six okay so we have to click again because as you see the one we have is three four three one nine but the latest is three four three three six 
So hit firmware upgrade again, give it a few minutes and come back. These are just, you know, pains that you have to go through with a new router. This one, by the way, was manufactured in 2024. I do not know what month, but that's what it's at on the router itself. And uh, we'll get right back after this is done. Okay, so most of the settings are done already. And as you see, we have that uh, internet light going on. And there's not much we can do here because uh, that's what I was talking about, the AI protection thingy right here. I always like to keep this on. Just one of those things. And as you see, everything here is good. And there is not much here you would have how many sites it has uh, protected you from two way isp attacks ips attacks <laughs> no pun intended and then infected device detection there is nothing so far thankfully and uh, that's it uh, bef besides that you can do adaptive qos that you can prioritize what you want here uh, i don't really care that much here because all the devices go on kind of need bases so but if you're a gamer as i said before turn this on and put your gaming pc or console on the first year on top and basically that's that's pretty much it you can analyze traffic and here's the dedicated game device prioritization so you can turn this on for example open that usually i leave that off yep it's uh, off because I don't really play games, but if you're a gamer, you can use that USB application. If you have any uh, storage attached to the router, AI Cloud 2.0, similar thing. And uh, you have Amazon thingy here. I'm not going to say it. Wireless settings, LAN, WAN, VPN. This is the best part that I really love here. You can have servers, for example, that you can put. I have WireGuard but I have it through uh, NordVPN. So I'm going to set up my own thing. And uh, let me do a quick speed test just to see what's uh, happening with WireGuard on and with my VPN on. Just keep in mind, my base speeds are 300 megabit down and 300 up. So if it's anywhere near that, I am absolutely excited. So let's see what happens. And boom. Yeah, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect with VPN on. Well, as you see here, Clovider and this type of IP address, you know, it's not a normal IP address. Look at the speeds. I'm supposed to have 300 down, 300 up. And this is perfect. And the same with Wi-Fi. You can do open VPN, IPsec, server. Let me see what we have here. Okay, on WireGuard, we have general or advanced settings. You can allow DNS, enable a PV6 pre-shared key, persistent. Okay, we don't, do, we don't need any of these. Just leave it here. VPN fusion. You can add a profile. We have the internet connected here. And you can do the connection name. And they suggest Surfshark, but I actually have, uh, well, <laughs> NordVPN is actually the owner of Surfshark, if I'm not wrong anyway, so. Or you can do OpenVPN. You go here, get the username and password, and you can uh, import the file that you put the OVPN file manually, and you can connect it this way, but I connect them per device, even though if I wanted to, I can do this. I'm not gonna do it right now, but it's doable, and that's what I like about uh, Asus routers. And you have Instant Guard here. You can connect it and have the server IP address appear here. Just give me a second, it will do that. Boom, and uh, clients will use the VPN to access both. I'm just going to leave it as it is right now. I'm not going to play with it too much, but just to kind of walk you through a few nicks and knacks that it has. Firewall should be on. Yes. DOS protection, which is a denial of service. I'm going to hit yes because I want this on. Uh, respond to ICMP echo or ping request from the WAN. Uh, this feature allows you to respond. I'm going to leave this off for right now. IPv4 inbound firewall rules. I don't need that right now. Because most of my stuff is already locked in. You can filter URLs. I'm not going to do that. Keywords. Nope. Network is all good. I'm going to leave it alone. And besides that, you have the administration that you can change it to access point, repeater, media bridge, or AI mesh node. Now, the other 
router I have will be switched to AI mesh node. This one will stay as a router because, you know, I need it this way. You can go to the system settings with all the stuff that you need. Firmware upgrade, I'm going to do it auto. Just in case I forget, yes, I am above 16 and all that stuff. Scroll to the bottom and hit agree. Yes, 531, preferable daylight savings. What is this? Is it 5 a.m.? I Okay, yeah, it is 5 a.m. I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to do security upgrades as well. Uh, because I love to have these automatic just in case. And uh, that's it. The rest are just, yeah, you don't need that. And you have the network tools here with a ping, a netstat, wake on LAN, uh, smart connect rules. I'm not going to do any of that. And here's the AI mesh if you have it like that. I'm going to put the other router, as I said, in the AI mesh. It is uh, that easy. There's not much else that I can talk about. I just hope you like this video and learn something from it. If not, well, it's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> See you next time. Please like and subscribe. Bye.